assignment uh, right now for uh, this guy, David, against Robert Bollick. But this is what I've been saying. If he blows by his... 69-59. Ten-point lead for Barangay Ginebra. Japet counters from the Kiwi cabinet, Patrick Magdenberg. Well, you can see that Japet is now in, really, in a real good rhythm in this ball game. Looking at you know, making him who he is right now. And I'm, I'm pretty sure he's very much thankful to all of them. Now to up top, Japet could have catch it cleanly. Reverse is good and gets the basket plus the foul. So yeah. Coach Dem playing with no natural power forward. So Ralph Wu, I think, will be moonlighting as they're big here. Oh, that wow. will be another end one. Japet. Yep, they took advantage of this mismatch against uh, Banquero. And Japet Aguilar was able to score and get a foul underneath the basket. Who looks for space, hands it off. Extra pass, gets Japet that slam. Short passes between the two big players. Watch it here once again. Chris passing and Japet says, look out below. That is what coach Tim Jones. Ah, I, I see just, some happy people I just, here. I just had to. <laughs> Japet down low. Foul. Gets the end one. Third quarter. Look at this nice pass. And not really forcing the issue using his speed. Japet Aguilar against Patrick Magdenberg. That should be another assist for Christian Stan Hardinger. Now Magnolia is in the zone. What a pass. Great passing here. Cool. Inside. Japet. Inside again. Now finally gets it to go for Baragay Nebra. What patience to break that zone, no? Looking for a foul on an over-the-back rebound play. Look at this pass. He has the shot, but somebody's open underneath. Nobody's covering him. Beautiful. Couple of bad basketball plays by both teams. Drop it inside. Finishes plus the foul. And then on the other end. Ahan Misi recognizing the advantage of Japet under the basket. Japet gets the, the bucket and the contact. What a sequence. Both teams throwing the ball away. We're still down by 6 points, 67 to 61. Parang contrasting in the first half. Where uh, another shot by Aguilar were in run to be able to get that lead. Now, baligtad, no? So, but I've got an early lead in the third, but now they have an eight-point lead. Struggling with a long ball is Elaine. He has been getting a lot of open looks. Yep. Unfortunately, he's not making it. Good pass down low as Jabbit jumps it home. Cycle of the PBA. Thompson stopping, knowing that the defense was on him. Okay, it's an open Jabbit for the jam. We didn't talk about during halftime, Coach. Meralco has four three-pointers compared to the single one of Barangay Hinebra. Yes, Hinebra is not really converting, but of course, it's that they need to hit their perimeter jumpers because if not, then Meralco will just easily be able to cover and help out on those guys in the in the shaded area. LA asking for a screen from Japet. Defense fights over. Japet of the spin and a slam! <laughs> For the 8 to 45, if you're a Meralgo fan in Batangas, of course you're cheering for the squad. Yes. If you're a Barangay Ginebra fan in Batangas, you might be confused right now because you want to see your team. They look inside once again. Big slam by Japet. Nice pass coming from Scotty Thompson. Good inside position from Japet. It might be too much. Samrad, straight line drive, nothing. That was a big shot from uh, Jay De Los Santos. Lebra on the other side has already scored 11. Ralph Wu will not shoot yet. He decides to go to Christian and down low now to Japet for the jam. The importance of really flashing to the ball. I like that great pass, but this was a perfect execution for Barangay Ginebra Gym Kicks. Best move of the game is brought to you by Honda, the official motorcycle of the PBA. Rosa also coming in replacing Paul Lee. Cool. Oh, no, now not you Paul Lee. Up 
Whoa! Oh, jump it! Slams it down! Yeah, you know. Take a look at the perfect play. Right at the exact spot where Jabet needed to get her. Could not hit the banker. Aston Norio grabs that board, sends it forward. Jabet will jump, layup is good with a foul on Junmar. Coming from uh, LA Tenorio. And he locates Jabet, did not dribble it clean, but he was able to recover in time. Junmar, all you see is the rim, right? When you see an opportunity to score, you try to take it. As Pringle will set it up, jump it! Will slam it home! On defense, the forward pass to LA, and then Pringle, and of course, it's showtime when Jabet is flying right, th right there. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a direction of the ball. After the review of the game, the three point pass gets made by. As always, when Chapet Aguilar takes flight, it's lob at first side from Stanley Pringle. Also, a good time for them to start making a run. But Meralco needs to try to manage this uh, lead. Oh, erased and blocked once again by Chapet. Time, and that's important for Meralco. They still have enough time to, to get a shot in this possession. 30 second timeout here by Coach Luigi Trillo as they want to. Chapet is going up against Banquero, so they send him the ball. And CB is spiked by Chapet. Bang, bang Brian Baguna. Oh. Mark Espejo, the spike coming from Chapet. As he erases that shot attempt coming from Banquero. But to be a grind for Barangay Ginebra to move forward into the finals. They go back to that post stop. Ahan Misi with a fake. Chapet, lefty lip is good with a foul. Open man cutting to the basket, which is Japet Aguilar. And if you're Brandon Bates, yes, you are doubling on uh, Ahan Misi. Japet trading space, kisses it off the glass. Lap to the foul. It's very hard to stop him, and this time it's a great, strong move from Japet. We saw a couple of finishes from Japet that were not. And Audio has two points, drives inside in traffic. Scotty wide open three. No go. Japet with the rebound and he gets fouled plus the basket. Take a look at this. Japet, another offensive board by Japet Aguilar. That's great hard work for Japet. Two. Also in their favor. Good entry pass to Japet. Patient move no. from Japet. He gets another end one opportunity. Japet Aguilar. That time around, the pivot foot. Being in the injured list is Scotty Thompson. Ralph Koo, also here, makes a good pass. This pick and roll motion, Brandon Ganuel Snozer had to defend him because of the way he's shooting the ball. And that left uh, Japet Aguilar open for that uh, easy. Scotty bringing it down, surveying the floor. Thought about that three. Japet, oh. nice up and under move. Oh, that is beautiful. Six points, three boards, three dimes for Maverick Ahanisi as Alex Stockton is denied emphatically by Japet. Two blocks here to start the third quarter. The first one minute just not to make sure that there are no easy points here in the second half for Converge Fiber X. There's Calvin Abueba but missing a layup. And here we go with Pinto. Now it's Pinto all the way alone and finishes with the layup. A lot of times all it takes is... One time to play for the All-Stars, a big slam there from Chapet Aguilar coming out of nowhere. On LA. And Scotty gets his first rest of the game. Maverick will overshoot. Big slam there from Chapet off that offensive rebound. Terrence dancing against Chapet. Romeo putting the moves against Aguilar. He steps back, he's blocked. And the rebound is picked up by Tenorio. Two big blocks from Japet here in the fourth quarter. Oh, extra pass to Japet! Japet will try to bring it closer. Defending Aguilar, advantage Japet. There it is. He expressed the Winky and Coach Jeff talk. Coach Jeff laid out his expectations from Justin, and it included wanting to see his leadership shine through more than anything. And even with the 15 to 20 minute restriction, 
Justin is still hoping to help. Eight, eight, five time UAAP champion did not lose in his entire collegiate career. And and you do not forget things like that. You take it to the PBA, you take it to wherever you go for it. LA sets up Chapet. Fake. He adjusts. Gets his own rebound. He is fouled. And one opportunity. <laughs> Napaganda pa for Chapet Aguilar. Entire Phoenix side asking for a traveling violation. You know, ito yung mga iba na ang matangkad na Ben Chapet because he just threw that ball up. CB against Pringle. Five seconds on the shot clock. But Kiara, what a move. That gets erased and blocked by Chapet. Signal will result to a camp, a one-month camp for all of our Olympians. That's a big-time block coming from Chapet. Pringle wants a three. Second contest. We thank you for joining us on Filipinas Live and PBA Rush. Carlo Pominto and Coach Eric Altamirano on the call. Oh, that was a botch defensive play there. Easy missed, but the drive of Scotty Thompson, when every time he gets to that nail, that creates a lot of shooting. They're going to start really firing on all cylinders starting today till the end of the conference. Okay, Coach Cito Victorello matching up here, starting big as well. You don't see this lineup of uh, Rivas playing. Quero. Against Ahn Misi, trying to navigate the screen. Oh, that gets swatted away by Japit. That's how you fire up Japit. Take a look at this block. Cleanly. Ringo sends it out to Ralph Poole. Into Japet now against Almazan. Japet off the pivot to the other side. Gets an end one. And Aguilar, as you can see here, went to the middle first, fake him Ooh. off, and then went baseline and was might, able to get a foul. Might from have Al gotten Almazan. away with the travel, though. Yeah, could be. We see could from be. the replay. Yeah, could be. That's a good feed from Oftana. 5 on 4 the other way, big slam! GGR fell on the other end of the floor and that's why it's 5 against 4 and Christian does a good job in making sure that Japet has a clear path to the basket. <laughs> clear the way! <laughs> and the runway is clear. Big slam there for Japet Aguilar. They would need his uh, abilities on the offensive end. Nice pass for LA. Almazan got beaten there. That's just uh, eye contact and uh, you know years and years of playing with each other. That best move of the game is who's going to lose it. Maverick goes to Ku. Ku sets up. Extra pass. The defense had to react to Ku outside you have an open look then you're just gonna launch it but because uh, Herndon rotated out that left Chapit Aguilar open and the extra pass something that coach Tim Cohn wants to see from his teammates the Arana on the attack Arana blocked by Stan Hardinger and now Barangay Ginebra pushes forward Chapit with a jam that's what happens when you play good defense on the other side not a pretty big lineup for the starting five unit of Barangay Nebra and Ali Oop immediately goes up top and slams it down. Chapet Aguilar. He passed up on the three point shot. So San Galang was open, had a lot of steps, and he drove to the basket to Money. get the first. Pinto, three on one break. No look pass. Big slam there from Chapet. Okay, you blocked me just a while ago. And here we go. Taking flight, Chapet with a huge slam from another angle. And he says he's somebody that we can actually really utilize. Inside, oh. Chapet, big slam. It's going to be number two. Here's a big slam. Get out of my way! And, and, and that was Brandon Bass really challenging. That Baga comfort ni coach yeah. Tim having a Jabet Aguilar around. That's what veterans do for you as Jabet! Jumps it home! The campaign of Barangay Ginebra in this game versus San Miguel Beer. This best move of the game is brought to you by Honda. The official motorcycle of the PBA, Aguilar, can still soar.
And they're right back into this. Only down by 11 now, 35.